this is Kelly from Rude Pursuit Junk Journals, and I am here today working on part two of this uh, Van Gogh themed journal, my hinge journal. Here's the spine so far and how kind of thick it is. And I've added a ton of ephemera to it so far, and I'm just going to keep going. I've got this little spot in mind for this lovely little envelope that I made. I do like making these. I just kind of take a, a square sheet of book page and then fold it into an envelope. And they're they're not straight, they're a little lopsided and I, I kind of like them that way. So there's that one. We've got a lot of pockets left to use and we've got a few little, only these two items to maybe put in pockets. And we've got one little decorative strip to put on something. I don't, this isn't sturdy enough to put on a, maybe on this sheet actually. Put it right on the edge maybe? I don't know, I'm not, I'm not liking that. This one's pretty good. I could add it on this. That I like a little better. So yeah, I'm just gonna kinda go through and see what spots I have left on here and and then we'll get cracking on the on the cover. After making all of the ephemera coordinated, uh, this process of decorating this journal is going very quickly. I'm just gonna leave a little edge there. Hopefully, blend that in. Maybe a little torn something along this edge, perhaps that way. In here. Oh, I like that. Good stuff. That's good. I like it. Okay. Very excellent. All right. We need places for pockets. Let's start over here. Of course, I love this, this pocket. Maybe on like the last page. This is my favorite. I think I want to give it a divot. I wasn't going to, but I'm going to give it a little divot with my small circle punch. That's the one I have available right now. Is that centered? Centered? Hope so. Hope it is. I don't know. Not like that. Let me find a place for you. What do we want here? This one? That's pretty. It's nice how some of that, uh, is this the one that goes all the way through? Yeah, yeah, it's like a pocket that goes. I guess I could close it up. Should I close it? Should I leave it? People will be putting stuff in there. will be falling out the bottom and they'll say, what just happened? Ah, uh, if I do it like, no, it's fine. We're leaving the bottom open. Put something tall and skinny in there like a bookmark or something. Make sure all my corners have a little glue. There we go. Stick a belly band in there. <laughs> no, that's ridiculous. Okay. Here we need a pocket. We'll try this guy, this pocket. That's very fragile paper. You're so fragile. I'll have to put something reinforcing along here. Something. Let me put that one there. I'm surprised I'm putting this one anywhere. I like it, but I don't know. I also kind of don't. I do, but I don't. <laughs> they like that for being, uh, I don't know. There's a word, but I can't find it. Okay. That would be interesting. I could put a belly band right in here. No. Oh. 
and then I'll add something here and here. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I don't know what yet, but I can see it. Strange place for a belly band. Pocket. I think I, I kind of skipped over. I've got how many pockets left? Four. That's not that many. All right, let's go back. Start seeing where we... Because I skipped a bunch of pages. We'll head back over there, see if we find a bunch of pages that... Go. Oh, okay. Okay. I do up top pocket. Hmm. <laughs> Let me try this. I want that there. I think some sunflowers have to go in here in this region. That's what I decided. I don't know where I'm gonna find them, but hopefully I'll be able to find some stuff. Oh, oh, drop that. Dig through one of my gardening books maybe we'll find a sunflower but I think that's what I want to go there because of this yellow maybe bring out that yellow bit oh, I do have this gives me an opportunity to add a little something else there. Don't know yet. Maybe this. Okay. Put that there. We're getting there. We'll get there. This has got a pocket there. It already has that. I wonder if I could do a little tiny belly band right there. I could just put a little something. Yeah. Let's do it. I just realized I kind of chopped her head off. Whoops. Sorry. So sorry. How are you for chopping your head off? That's the one. Very pretty. Maybe I'll pull out some of this, this stuff. Address and phone. How wide do I need that? Like this. There. No. Ooh. That I that's good stuff right there. Right there. Okay, now this needs a pocket. That's where this one's going. 100 percent I've been watching the show The Bear, uh, second season, one of the episodes where they have like Christmas holiday, holy smokes. That one was pretty crazy episode. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. There we go. That looks nice. I really want this to be in a pocket somewhere. I don't know where, but I want it to be a pocket. Kind of 
kind of want something there. Oh, you know what? This will go perfect right there. Hold on. I knew I'd find a spot for that. My glue's giving me fits. Need a little glue maintenance. Okay. Just holding on for now. Something is stopping up. I put a I put the wrong I couldn't find the right pin, so I put one in and it wasn't like stainless steel, so it was kind of rusted up on me, which doesn't do any good for that. Bright colors, right? I don't know. I'm I'm pretty prepared to put yeah, to put a put a pocket right there and I like that one there. Maybe a Surratt painting, maybe? Maybe. I'm using up my little scraps, too. That's been pretty handy. It's kind of cute. I might use that some more. Maybe. Okay, I need to check all of... Oh, dear. Uh-oh. Okay, we're good. All of these. Make sure I got all those. One blue. This one needs to be covered up with that. That looks good. We're gonna we're gonna use a different glue. What? I know. It's crazy. What are you doing, Kelly? Different glue. This is Tombow glue. Just gonna. I like it when it's. Spread thin. Oh, maybe I'll utilize that little, little pretty part on there. Got it. Now I touched it, so it's going all over my finger. Yeah. Stay down. I like that piece. That's good. Good stuff. A little sunflower? No, too much. Too much. I'll cover up that in a, in, a, in a minute. In a minute, I mean not today. Okay, all the rest of them. Did I get them? This one's covered up. And that one's covered up. Okay, I got them all. Excellent. Now let's go back. Pockets. How many pockets do I have left? Two pockets. That's it, I think. Not a lot of pockets around here. You forgot you're not using that glue right now. Silly. Blah. That's how you fling it around. That's how you do that. Okay, then we're gonna go back. I'm going to put these away because I almost did. But we're gonna add a little. Maybe this one, the cream. Cream's kind of nice. Yeah. You're staying down. You're staying down. Get it pushed down all the way on that side. Okay. Stay down. Do it. I don't let things dry. I don't give them a chance. Give me a chance. Does that look good? It does. It does look good. Do 
I want to... Oh, what'd you do? With your needle. You lost it. Okay, let me just poke this for a minute. See what happens. There we go. Okay. Did it help? Probably not. Let's see. Look for my needle. Nope, not here. Using this glue. You can do it. That's fine. I do like how this glue has like two different applicator types. Yeah, no, that does look good. Looks good. Yeah, I like that pocket there. Ooh, put this in here. Ta-da. Ooh. Do we use everything? Are we, do we use everything? Except for these two things? Oh my goodness. Enough of that. Enough of that. Right here? Okay. <laughs> this glue is just like sitting open. Good gravy. That's all that it took to fix this glue. <laughs> you silly girl. Okay. There. Now, what else? That one. That's plenty. Nope. We'll find a spot for you. I think in the back there were some places. Maybe not. Maybe I filled it all up. Here we go. That's the one. Down at the bottom. Up at the top. <gasps> oh. There we go. And that is all I have for now. So the next step is gonna be, uh, I think adding embellishments maybe. Well, this would be kind of cute on there. It's a little tab. That might work. So I have to figure out tabs, fabric, and lace. Adding tabs, fabric, and lace. So I'm going to add these little washi clips to the side all throughout and a cover. So I'm going to go ahead and gather some supplies. Oh, my camera is a little wonky. Hold on. Gather some, not that it matters because we're at the end anyway. Uh, gather some supplies up for the, the cover. And we'll make that. Okay, so I've gathered things together for my cover. Uh, I went in a lot of different directions. And this probably took me about an hour to come up with this collection of things that I can now kind of put together and glue down. But I really... <laughs> it was kind of funny because I, it's a really hard process to record because... I'm like running around, you know, my craft room and like digging through things and like, oh, what can I find in here? So that was a process and I kind of came up. I, I, I don't know if I did that or not, but I added more things to the journal too, uh, just because that process is really pokey. When I get creative, it's really, it's pokey. I don't know how else to describe it. <clears throat> I just, I'm not always sure like how to sort of speed it up <laughs> and make it a little bit better that way. But at any rate, this is what I have so far. Uh, I, I've got this for the spine. I think that'll look really nice. I'm not going to, I'm probably going to use like this part of it and none of the green, that dark, uh, like dark green, whatever color that is. Uh, is not going to show. So it's just going to be like this with a little bit of that blue showing through on each end. So that's how that's going to work. And I I have this piece of paper, which is not incredibly thick, actually, but I think it'll be fine. So I'm just going to measure this out really randomly. Uh, let's see here. I need about that much. 
that's what I'm doing. That is really crooked right there. Well, we're just gonna have to fix this as soon as I find my trimmer. Come on, little, it's gotta be on this desk. Yes, it is, it is. Yeah, this is, and my creative process is very messy. It's so messy. <laughs> no joke. Well, at least I know this and this corner is straight because that's how the paper came. Let's see, let's see if I can do, so if I line this right up flush against here and then find my line, try not to cut anything in the meantime. Where are you, little line? There you are. Okay. So I'm going to get that straight. This on there. Are we still on the line? Not quite. Scooch over just a smidge. Smidge. Okay. Flush cutting. Woo! Did it. Now, oh. I love this. Like, this was a scarf, but it's really like nice gauzy fabric and it stretches out like cheesecloth. So if you ever see like a scarf material with this or curtains or something, it's really good for junk journaling. <laughs> it used to be cheesecloth was really inexpensive, but of course, just like everything else. Oh, I hope this is tall enough. Oh no. Well, that's just how it's gotta be. So every edge should be straight except for this one, theoretically. <laughs> So I just need to make this one straight. I'm gonna do it like that. Here we go, loop de loo. Put that in the garbage. So that is our front cover. And if it sticks out the top or the bottom, that's just the way it's gonna be. Mm-hmm. Yep. <laughs> now let's match up the back. And then we'll I I'll just create a oh, this one's shorter. Well, what the heck? Well, I'm not going to worry about it. I'm just going to go with it. It's not straight either. What am I going to do, people? Do I have two of these? I doubt it. I don't. But I've committed. I've committed to it. It goes with my, my aesthetic. Oh, goodness. Oh, the giveaway turned out really fun. So I'm thinking about that because I announced the winner today. So I hope, I always worry that they're not gonna see it because most people have their notifications turned off for, for YouTube. So hopefully she sees it and shoots me an email. That would be fantastic. Do it like that. Scoot that one out of there. Is that right? Double check it. Double trouble. Good. That's it. We're going with it. This is the front cover. This one. It doesn't look straight, but it is. It's definitely straight it all matches up okay just checking my work not that it, not that it matters because it's too late now too late uh i suppose i could add a little to the top but it's just not enough to matter and i think it's kind of nice when you can see that stuff so we're not gonna worry about it we do need a little piece of paper I if i could use this it's pretty thick for my spine should I go really thick for my spine? Nah. Who knows what that would do to it? Something crazy, probably. Something crazy. So, but I did want to be real about how long it takes me to sort of collect all of that stuff. It's kind of ridiculous, actually. But, you know, getting all that... Uh, let's go this way. Getting all that stuff together. This is dangerous because I don't... I don't want to cut my... What are we doing here? Okay, come through, come through. Do, do, do. And a lot of times, let me think. 
this is going to be one where I can make it a curved top. I might. Let's, let's give it a little extra. We'll give it a little curve. I like to do that. Add a little something, something. Is this my piece? <laughs> what I'm doing. No, that's not it. <laughs> uh, what, what, what did I do? What did I do? <laughs> oh, because I gave it extra. Oh my gosh. My brain is broken. <laughs> wow. That was incredible. Okay, so now this part, this is going to be real scientific. It's going to be me. Uh, just randomly choosing a spine size. <laughs> and I think it's going to be this size. <laughs> well, isn't that technical? Yeah. This is kind of a little smaller journal. I hope I, I think I'm doing it right. You could probably measure it. Measure it like by about this. I think that's good. It's a, it's a little, like if you, yeah, no, it's good. Very good. Very good. <laughs> going here though how should we do it and then just so you know with this hinge business I glue this so I've got this whole edge to surface to glue it down to my spine yes and then I can attach it here too for a little extra added security uh, so to get that, to make sure that spine is really attached, like a little piece of fabric or something. I know I've done washi tape all along, but maybe some fabric. Fabric is a little bit stronger. Look how strong that is. Can't tear that at all. Strong, strong. <laughs> we need muscles. Okay, so if I'm gonna make this a curved edge, I wonder if I could use this. Cause why not? It's right there. Dun, dun, dun. It's a very subtle curve. Do I need a, a, a roundier curve? A what? What are you? What? <laughs> I don't think so. I don't. I don't really think so. Subtle. Roundier. That's not a word. Just so you know, it's not a word. Yeah, I feel like this should be roundier than that, though. You can't just go around making up words. Actually, I can. I don't remember. I think it, if it was in high school or if it was in college, it might have been maybe a philosophy class. And they, uh, <laughs> they were talking about words and what makes a word and how people are like, that's not a word. And then it turns out at the definition, it was philosophy. I'm sure of it. This definitely sounds like something philosophy. Why am I inking this? Nobody's going to see it. Are we going to see it? Maybe a little at the top. Okay, that means I better ink it on this side too. We'll see. Who knows? What kind of crazy business I got going on? I know, I just wing it. It's like... You'd think she had a really specific process, but nah. Okay, so this is my trick for doing spines and stuff. Let's make that one curved. And then this, I'm just gonna give it, I'm gonna give it a medium curved edge. Yes, I am. And then I'm gonna curve this side with also the medium size and here. And I do that because it just helps with the boxy look. It, uh, it prevents the boxy look. And then I'm done doing that. So this is going to be my spine, how it all comes together. Yay hoo. You need to clean off your desk. I think we're going to need the YouTube desk fairy, the desk cleaning fairy to come along. Hold on. Oh, little fairy. All right, desk fairy uh, was a little frustrated with me. She didn't do that great of a job, and she it was it was my fault because she kept trying to take stuff away, and then I was like, uh, no, no, we're gonna need that later, so don't take that away. So yeah, 
Sorry, Death Fairy. She's she's a little frustrated. Uh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> Here we go, loop de loop. Now I could round these corners, but I'm not gonna do it right now because I don't want to get confused about where my lines are. And I don't think I'm gonna ink now either because I'm probably not sure if that's gonna be helpful. Oh, now do I want to cover this? Is this the top? Yeah, that's the top. Okay, so it's going to go a little bit like this. Give it a little gap. I like to give it a gap. Helps for expandability, I've noticed. If I give it a little fabric in between there, not paper, but if you attach these with fabric, it gives it some expansion. So if, if, uh, it remains smaller, then that fabric just kind of tucks itself together. If your book gets bigger, the fabric just stretches out. It works really good. Now, I'm um, this side I can't leave. I'm going to have to ink it. I'm going to have to. That's all there is to it. I can't leave it stark white. It won't do. Should I cover it with paper or ink it? I'm going to ink the edges because that way I'll be able to cover the rest of the paper. It will be faster. Ooh. It will be faster this way. And you love watching me distressing things. Maybe not. Probably not. That's one of my things that I do that people don't care for. But I, for some reason, find it humorous. <laughs> Which is, some of will say, oh, I really don't like that. I was like, no, no. I'll say, I'll say, actually, you love that. You love that. That's your favorite thing. <laughs> That's your favorite thing. <laughs> it's obnoxious. I'm sorry to everyone I've done that to. <laughs> uh. True, true. So yeah, I'm not sure when I'm gonna get this. This is this is probably gonna take a while to get posted from when I'm filming it anyway. Got lots of things in the hopper. So many videos in the hopper. Look at it, it's a flannel day. Yep, it's supposed to get down to freezing tonight. Went to a trunk or treat. It was a Thursday trunk or treat. I gotta tell you this story. The trunk or treat. <laughs> oh dang. Uh yeah. So, oh, I kind of want to use this batik. Is this going to look okay? Well, you're only going to see it on the inside. It's going to look like this. I just like it. I don't know if it even goes. Am I wrong? It just seems wrong, but good also. <laughs> and you're not going to be able to see it. Oh, batik is so nice. It's the same on both sides. Uh, you're not going to be able to see it on the outside because it's going to be covered with this. Do these go together? Close enough. It's questionable, but lots of things I do are questionable. So that works out. Okay, my fabric glue. What is it? Oh, I have to go get it. Hold on. <laughs> 